Truck maintenance on the RE DO25 sewage combination air valve. First, we'll have to close the isolation valve below the unit. We'll need to release pressure from the valve and drain out accumulated sewage in the base. After pressure has been released, we're gonna grab our Allen tool and we're gonna open the band clamp set. We're gonna remove the band clamp set. We're gonna take the body and base apart. We always recommend to bring an additional complete drop-in assembly unit. Now we'll follow up for the full service of cleaning the unit. After the units internally have been washed out, we'll gradually loosen the top assembly, pull out the valve components, wash them out thoroughly, We'll thoroughly clean the inside of the valve. We're gonna check the integrity of the rolling seal. If it's damaged or cracked or needs replacement, we could slide out the rolling seal from the float assembly, replace it with a new rolling seal unit. We're gonna slide in the new rolling seal assembly in the float groove. We're gonna make sure that the middle part of the rolling seal is aligned with the parting line on the float. If the spring needs to be replaced, we could use a pin spanner, place the pin spanner in the two designated holes, and manually open up the float assembly. We'll extract the float assembly and replace it with a new unit. We'll place the float assembly back We'll take the bottom float and we'll thread it in the float stopper. We'll use the pin spanner to tighten the stopper in. And now we're gonna uh, reassemble the rolling seal unit to the top body. We're gonna insert the top part of the rolling seal assembly to the inner groove on the body. We're gonna slide the two sides of the float in its railing and we're gonna close it down with the clamping stem. Once the unit is inserted, we're gonna make sure that the O-ring is placed correctly in its groove, and we're gonna close this whole top assembly. We're gonna to return the top assembly to the base. If there is a gap, we'll, we could use the assistance of a plastic hammerhead. We need to make sure that the base and body are aligned together and sit perfectly. We're gonna put in the clamp set and close up the unit. We're gonna close the drainage ports and gradually open the isolation valve underneath the product. We'll check the product seals tight and you can recommission the product back to service.